Vaccines have been of high interest during the pandemic, although the science behind them has been researched for decades. Advancements in science continue today at Scripps Research in La Jolla. CBS 8's Abby Alford reports on the new technology that could help the future of vaccine development. Scientists at Scripps Research have developed a method that will allow them to get answers in a vaccine trial much sooner. Developing a vaccine used to take years. Now it can take months and it can be even sooner. Scientists at Scripps Research devised a new method used at a certain stage to guide the design of the vaccine that can give them answers in just 10 days instead of weeks. We can get information from a vaccine trial much faster than before and or isolate the you know, useful therapeutics. That tool is called CryoM, an electron microscopy technique that can advance the development of vaccines and monoclonal antibodies. Our group uses this in a practical capacity working on HIV vaccines, flu vaccines, and in helping with the COVID pandemic as well. Scripps scientist Charles Bowman co-wrote the study on antibody discovery using cryoM technology, which he describes as a beam of electrons to illuminate and image targets far below the scale of ordinary light microscopy. Which images uh, very small particles like viruses and the antigens on their surface. Um, and, and pairing these two technologies, we're able to more quickly isolate antibodies of use um, from vaccine trials or even people who have been sick. This technology can be key in finding out how a person with HIV, COVID, or an autoimmune disorder responds to a vaccine and future therapies. Because now, instead of taking one person three months, it can take them two weeks. And so, you know, someone could do a lot more over that three month period a candidate or move forward. This may be a small part of the process in making a vaccine, but it's creating a big impact on the future of medicine and your health. Right, so hopefully by speeding up one part of this, we can speed up the overall process. Researchers hope that future advancements in cryolome technology will allow them to get even more rapid identification of antibodies.